In April, this professional streamer had more social media interactions than LeBron James, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Shaquille O'Neal, making him the most popular athlete in the world. He also makes more than $500,000 a month, jumping off a virtual bus onto an island to farm, fight, loot, and dance with 99 other players in a fight to the death. And he generally wins. A lot. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what a beast! Let's go! Let's go! He's played alongside the likes of Drake, Travis Scott, and a number of professional athletes. Last guy in front of me. Right there to the right. Kind of right. Yeah, let's go. That's it, dude. Oh. He's raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for charity. I'm saying if we do first day 10,000 10, shirts, then the rest is like 5,000 a day and we make it. That's what it is. 10,000 the first day, 5,000 combined for the rest and like a day. And even hosted his own esports event that broke the Twitch viewership record he set when he played with the Six God. Welcome to Ninja Vegas 18. We have ourselves a fire alarm. Ninja here. Vegas 18. I'm super excited to get this started. This is Ninja. And if you don't recognize his face yet, it'll only be a matter of time until you do. But where did this guy come from? And how did he carry the gaming world out of Tilted Towers? Yo, let's go, uh, SWAT. Hello, Sam. Kill the last guy, get the double kill, he's right here. God. Get him, let's go! This is his story. Tyler Ninja Blevins started his esports career in Halo, just as Halo 3 was coming out, and made his esports debut at MLG Orlando 2009 with Team 4 of a Kind. Only 19 at the time, Ninja made a name for himself as an aggressive player whose risky playstyle quickly became his calling card. I knew right away, like, this kid is going to be amazing. He's got a lot, a lot of talent. You just basically have to run with him because he is just going to hold forward, get in people's faces and challenge and just, you know, he was he was a 1v1 god. He was that very individually based player. But it was only when Halo Reach came out in September 2010 that Ninja truly flourished and quickly rose to the upper echelon of Reach players. They're kind of like impact here. A lot of people not giving them the credit they deserve. I couldn't agree more with you there, Chris. And the thing is, is you have a player like Ninja on their team who is going to spark. He's got so much individual talent and status quo, although they have a lot of teamwork, aren't necessarily the best shots. So Ninja could really disturb this team. Ninja bounced between various teams between 2010 and 2012, but was picked up by Final Boss at the end of 2011. In the world of Halo Esports, playing for Final Boss was as big as it gets. And when they picked up Ninja, everyone knew just how good he was. Ninja's always keeping constant pressure. He is trying to spark his team to get another flag cap so much. He's doing everything in his power. Someone on Final Boss flag. I got Ninja on the flank. There he comes in with the back smack. Going for back smack number two. Amish trying to stay alive. Victory gets the flag back to his base, keeping that one alive. Great play here out of all four members of Final Boss, and Ninja is going to put it in as FE takes game number one. Shortly after he joined Final Boss, the scene switched from Reach to Halo 4. It was in that game that he finally won it all. Looks like this game is going to be over. Solis is a long map to run the flag in. I don't think it is even possible to run two flags in this amount of time. And the players are standing up. There is the congratulations. Give it up for your Warrior Squad, MLG's first ever Halo 4 champion. And as he took the Halo scene by storm, Ninja was also streaming on Twitch. Even at the beginning of his streaming career, when he was only broadcasting to a handful of viewers, it was clear that he was at his best in front of an audience. No! They planted the bomb! No! Oh my god! Moment! Alright guys, this is a ballsy move right here by me. Ah. 
And it pays off, he lets him get the freaking camouflage lifts up behind him for the double no scope rockets are up still though, that's very important. After Halo 4 came Halo 2 Anniversary, during which Ninja competed with Cloud9. He put up a string of strong finishes, highlighted by a top 4 finish at HCS Season 1 Finals. Ninja finished his Halo career during Halo 5. He played on Team Liquid, Renegades, Evil Geniuses, and Luminosity during that era. His last major event as a Halo player was DreamHack Atlanta 2017 with Luminosity. While he was playing with Evil Geniuses, he continued to play Halo, but was balancing it with his new love, H1Z1. The zombie-style battle royale game helped Ninja's stream take off in a big way. He was able to make the jump from an esports player styling in his game of choice to a full-time entertainer playing the hot new game. Taking a small little break ski um, uh, from, from Halo, focusing more on uh, other games and streaming. Ninja's stream began to grow larger during the summer of 2017 after the release of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. PUBG made a huge splash in the streaming world. The battle royale format was perfect for crazy highlights, funny moments, and an all-around viewer experience. Great sub now. Ninja! And now you trust me, baby! Oh, and now you trust me! <laughs> Streamers flock to the game to keep up with its rising popularity. The skills that Ninja picked up from his Halo days served him well, and to an extent, transferred to this new format. Triple kill. Triple baby! Woo! Light up! No matter what the objective of the game is, one thing started to become clear. Ninja was lethal with a rifle. Job, that was a I got him! And when Fortnite Battle Royale was released in September 2017, that kid who would play Halo wearing a cow on his head would never be the same. Oh! <laughs> Drop down on him? Oh man, mid revive, I just dropped out and wham. On October 3rd, 2017, Ninja streamed Fortnite for the first time. But unlike his streams now, his average viewership stayed steady at around 5,000. And then, as December reared its frosty head, Ninja's stream blew up. I'm the best in the game. Oh! 12,000 viewers in December 2017 turned into 25,000 in January, and by the time spring came around, he was streaming to 100,000 viewers a day. You know, it's so crazy, man. The times just changed so much. Especially since, like, I'm in uncharted territory as a streamer. I always valued... No, I took pride in the fact that, like, I always read every sub and every dono. And unfortunately, I had to cut out reading subs because there, there's just way too many. But, like, you know, here we are, you know, about a month, maybe two months in, where I haven't read subs. And, you know, you're complimenting me on reading all the donos, right? Like, it's nuts. I'll always do my best to make sure that I never miss them. A former Halo pro turned small-time streamer was climbing to the top of the Twitch viewership rankings, and he was hauling Fortnite along with him. What's unique about Ninja's on-screen persona is that he's able to effectively combine the attitudes and styles of several Twitch personality archetypes. He can be boisterous and loud. Ah! Jacob, he's dodging them all. He's not. How is he doing? He's literally, 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 he's Always critiquing, always getting better. In that situation, when you're that weak, going up one and then looking to shoot is like, 
like go up two, go up two or three before you do that, right? Because like only one, that means that that means that a, a bad player, all he has to do is hit his ramp button one time, walk up, and now he's on that level with you. You know what I mean? Like yep. you want to make him think, make him like make them make them make a good play. He can catch the eyes of parents with his rants about the importance of education, commitment to charity, and focus on mental health awareness. And it, honestly, I, I encourage everyone to do that. All, all the kids out there, like, you, you can't just drop everything and focus on playing video games for a living. It's also becoming a very competitive career uh, choice right now. And uh, you want to make sure that you're, you know, you're securing your future and putting in the extra time to try to make this happen as well. He has the skills needed to both capture an audience and keep them coming back day after day. And I literally remember the, the turning point of my entire career was when I, I addressed my stream and I was just like, you need to understand that I love this game, but like a lot of these people who are watching me play Fortnite, like no one is like supporting the channel, no one is subscribing. I can't keep playing this game if you guys don't support me. And that day alone, I think I gained like a thousand subscribers. And then after that, it was over. At the time Ninja's stream started to grow, Battle Royale games were still relatively in their infancy. And in a lot of ways, Fortnite's success has gone hand in hand with Ninja's growth as a streamer. It's been interesting to see the way that he's grown and Fortnite has been very successful for him. People enjoy watching him because he is terrifyingly good. Something I don't tell him, I'm a little jealous. It's sometimes I look at it and I think, man, did Epic just make this game specifically for him? His personality on stream and the way that the game is is played at a at a higher entertainment style, they, you know, that, those two those two things they go hand in hand. As he got better, more people watched him, and more people played Fortnite. And when he became one of the best players in the world, Fortnite leapt into the mainstream in a big way. Not long ago, everyone was freaking out that the big video game publishers were in the crosshairs of these popular new Battle Royale style, style multiplayer games as Fortnite. This is a new game called Fortnite is drawing millions of players. Let's now talk Fortnite, shall we? It's the newest video game craze spreading across fast among kids, college kids, even celebrities. And we've seen him capitalize on that by expanding his reach within the Fortnite ecosystem. Ninjas brought streaming personalities like Myth, Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tapman into his bubble of popularity and help them grow alongside him. Just as he drops them a shield potion in game, he'll also plug their stream. With his growing popularity, his posse, his famous win streak headband, and that catchy pon pon dance, Ninja's built a stream that feels close to a sitcom. And Ninja is the fearless protagonist, saving his teammates at Tilted Towers and cracking jokes amidst the familiar backdrop of his basement guest bedroom. February saw Ninja average more than 46,000 viewers at a time, making him one of the top streamers in the world. He'd climb the ladder to the pinnacle of the gaming world, the top of the Twitch rankings. But on March 14th, 2018, Ninja proved that he wasn't going to settle for being Twitch's flavor of the month. It was time to break out of the gaming echo chamber. Ninja played squads with rappers Drake and Travis Scott, as well as Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster. And, well, it kind of broke the internet. Yo, Juju, not you, man. right here, Medi right here. How you boys doing? Drake, you guys good, huh? Trav, good? This is probably the most insane thing that I've ever done in my life besides. This is better than scoring a touchdown, to be honest. The stream broke the Twitch individual streaming record with around 630,000 concurrent viewers. In just one night, Ninja became a household name, and his viewership ballooned. During March, Ninja streamed to over 90,000 viewers every day. He had Drake on for a second stream. Did he gotta, I mean, I, you gotta put some Fortnite lingo I, in the album, nah, man. Someone, it, it has to happen, it's just gotta be the right way. I Someone's gonna do it, someone's gonna pull it out. Absolutely. I say when Epic gives me the emote, like, when Epic gives me the hotline bling emote, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll give you this. 
you got. Ooh. And all of a sudden, every Twitch viewer, consumer of pop culture, and their extended family knew who Ninja was. So what's different about a Ninja stream now that he's sitting in his basement in front of 100,000 viewers all the time? Ninja sees the relationship between viewer and streamer unlike any other. Absolutely, like someone, I, I did a recent interview and, and that was one of their questions was like, am I, am I uh, would I consider myself like a personality or a character? And, and absolutely not. I'm the exact same person. I have never seen a harder worker. In my mind, it goes back to the guy that was like, I have to be on for these 600 subs. And he's the same person and it's just paid off. He provides a social contract. He's willing to communicate honestly in a way that feels sincere in exchange for viewership and subscription. He makes you feel like an integral part of the community he's building. And for that, your money feels well spent. Ninja's the good guy, the guy you'd want to show to your parents to defend the time you spend playing Fortnite. Believe in yourself and work hard. Know what you're worth, know what you're capable of. Resilience is very important. But someone you can also kick back and watch with your friends. All of this, combined with his consistent streaming schedule and clear focus on having a unified brand, has led to his success. Oh, yeah, did we mention that he's one of the best Fortnite players in the world? Oh my god, I'm like the LeBron James dude of oh, LeBron James. Oh, this is what you meant to do. This is what you meant to do. <gasps> One below. At the end of April, Ninja continued to add to his storied few months with Ninja Vegas, his own $50,000 Fortnite tournament at the eSports Arena in Las Vegas. The event pitted Ninja against some of the game's best, where players received $2,500 for killing Ninja and $2,500 for a victory royale. Still pretty important before maybe he pushes for a, a shouting knockout, something like that. Oh! oh yeah, GG, 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 good fight. Oh, he's so weak too. He's holding the, 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 yeah. the, the clear so he can see through, and now he's gonna go for it! There's the kill! Blind taking home oh $5,000 from the first game, and he doesn't even know yet. This continued in 10 flights over two days for a total of $50,000 in prizes. And anytime Ninja won, $2,500 would be donated to the Alzheimer's Association. Can Ninja win his first game? The Rockets are out! Yeah! Ninja! Let's go, baby! Woo! Ninja with the victory! Good fight, man. GG, GG, GG. To say that it was a massive success would be an understatement. Not only was it the first major competitive Fortnite event, but at one point, it had more than 667,000 concurrent viewers, surpassing the famous Drizzy stream. Charitable endeavors like this have become a staple of Ninja's rise to the top. He seems to be doing a new charity stream or initiative every other week. 70, $74,655 in nine hours. I mean, that's about 10, I mean, you know, 10K an hour, 8K an hour. That's incredible, man. You guys are amazing. In the past, he spent time raising money to support suicide awareness and the Alzheimer's Association. What we have done and accomplished today is remarkable. I mean, I, I can't, I, I, there's nothing more to say. In under eight hours, we have raised $113,000 a lot of the proceeds tonight went to a charity, right? And uh, uh, it was for the Alzheimer's Association. All the dollars from the ticket sales will be matched by ID Tech and we'll be making a contribution as well because we want to make so much. More recently, he sold branded t shirts in collaboration with streamer and duo's partner, Dr. Lupo. Combined, they set out to raise $500,000 for St. Jude's Research Hospital. So here we are in 2018. 
And so far this month, an ex-Halo Pro turned Battle Royale streamer is streaming to an average of over 125,000 people every day. And he isn't slowing down. Are you kidding me, dude? In March 2018, he was ranked third in the world in social interactions, right behind Cristiano Ronaldo and LeBron James. This was the first time a pro gamer cracked the top 10 of this list. In April, he was the number one ranked athlete in the world on the same chart. As of mid-May, he has almost 7 million Twitch followers, more than 10 million YouTube subscribers, and over 2 million Twitter followers. It feels like he's streaming with, or making appearances with, the most famous people in the world on a weekly basis. He's a household name in the truest sense, the amalgamation of every gaming meets mainstream storyline combined. Despite its stranglehold on the gaming world, it's still unclear just how far Fortnite will go. The competitive landscape is mostly made up of third-party and community events. One of these events, May's Keemstar Tournament, proved just how lethal Ninja could be in a competitive environment. Oh my goodness. He's getting lit. Just days after that event, Epic Games announced a jaw-dropping $100 million commitment to competitive Fortnite events during the 2018-2019 season, meaning that Fortnite Esports is likely to take off in a big way. And being that there's like $100 million in prize pool now, are you gonna try to make some money off of it? I feel like I would have better luck doing just about anything than making money <laughs> off of Fortnite. <laughs> so you don't think it's like a viable option for people, unless you're like the Not best game in the world, I right? I feel like if you're like Ninja or something. Right, yeah, right. Totally yeah, that's true. Ninja yeah. would, yeah, he'd be good, pretty good at it. On Tuesday, May 1st, he streamed to 190,000 people just after the newest Fortnite season started. Almost 200,000 people watched Ninja play Fortnite on a regular boring Tuesday afternoon. It's all happening right in front of our eyes. The craziest part about it is that it's still growing with no signs of slowing down. I think that that literal one match with Drake made it okay for everyone to play video games. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.